everybody, it's Pastor Rhonda Garver. I wanted to start today uh, just a word of encouragement out of Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. I tell you, the scripture tells us how we are going to overcome the enemy and everything that he throws at us uh, and the adversity that he has in the world. And the first is that they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. I know what I do, uh, you know, some people have, get a little, uh, funky about, you know, pleading the blood of Jesus over things. But you know what? In my estimation, it's worked for me and mine, and I'm going to keep it up. So every day, if not almost every day, if not every day, I plead the blood of Jesus over my family, over our church family. I plead the blood of Jesus. I say, Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over our minds, over Pastor Mark's mind, over my mind, over Destiny's mind, over our bodies, over our souls, over our mind, our will, and our emotions. I plead the blood of Jesus. I thank you. There's an impenetrable bloodline around our home, around our family. I draw a bloodline around our, our home. I draw a bloodline around our vehicles. No evil shall befall us. And I thank you for it, Father. I plead the blood of Jesus over us. And I thank you that that blood conquers the enemy. And that's how I plead the blood of Jesus over my family. The scripture says they overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. The word of our testimony is speaking what God said in his testimony. What did God say about all this? In 1 Peter 2, 24, it says, who his own self bear our sins and his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. When he took those stripes upon his back 2000 years ago, your healing was sealed. The scripture says you were healed. And if you were healed, then you are healed. You can deny germs, virus, bacteria, bacteria, amoebas, the right to exist in your body, do it as preventative medicine. You can say it before you're ever sick. You know, oftentimes uh, when I wash my hands, I say, uh, Father, I thank you that Jesus took stripes upon his back so that I could walk in health. I thank you, Father, that those stripes, uh, by those stripes, I have been healed. I deny germs, virus, bacteria, amoeba, anything that ought not be in this body. I deny it the right to exist in my body. I curse it and I command it to die. And I thank you for it, Father, in Jesus' name. By the time I'm through quoting my scriptures, the 22nd, I was supposed to wash hands is over with and I didn't even have to sing happy birthday. As an example of what I was talking about, as you wash your hands, you can confess the word over yourself. Matter of fact, it's a perfect opportunity. Uh, rather than singing happy birthday two times or whatever the government is recommending, you can quote the word over yourself. By the stripes of Jesus, I have been healed. Jesus took stripes upon his back so that I could walk in health. Father, I thank you. I thank you that no germ, virus, bacteria, amoeba, anything that ought not live in this body, I forbid it the right to exist. I thank you that I am healed and whole. Jesus, when you got up out of the grave, you got up with healing in your wings and I access it now and I receive it now and I thank you for it in Jesus' name, amen. Uh, there's a number of scriptures that talk about our healing that you should be confessing over yourself and over your family. Uh, you know, uh, Isaiah 53 verse 4 says, Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Verse 5, Isaiah 53, 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Glory to God. You are healed. And some people might say, well, Pastor Rhonda, that refers to to uh, spiritual healing. Well, if so, Jesus misquoted it in Matthew 8, 17, because in Matthew 8, 16, it says, when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirits with his word, and he healed all, all, he healed all that were sick. Verse 17, that it might be fulfilled. He said, I did that, 
that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Jesus knew what the Holy Spirit meant when he gave that word. It is healing of your physical body. The stripes of Jesus bought that for you. You need to be confessing that over yourself uh, every single day. Confess it over your family. Revelation 12, 11 says, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. You ought to go out and speak the word, plead the blood of Jesus, or put the enemy and all of his tactics where they belong under your feet. Until next time, it's Pastor Rhonda.